Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Vote for Jeb, or you're just fucking stupid. Fool me, we can't get fooled again. So I just want this kind of to be a message from the past. And the future people hear this. When things like what you're hearing now are illegal. And when it's totally clear what you face. I want you to know if you don't resist, it's only going to get worse. It's not going to get better. And you will realize that you're the leaders. And you will realize that it's up to you to take action with God's help when you're really against the wall. So this is my message to you in the future. A lot of people came before me, and I'm here, and I came before you. And I'm telling you, you don't have a choice. The bio attacks they've launched against you, the hurting into the cities, every few years a more horrific event, cocktails of attacks, everything you've gone through, now you've got to spread the word to your fellow man. Now everyone will see the truth now that you're in lockdown prison cities. And I'm speaking to the secret police of the future. Your mother, your father, your children are dying from the bioweapons. You're dying from the engineered cancers. I know that information is restricted to you now, but in our age, we were able to access that information before it had been erased. There was once a time of goodness. There was a once a time of wholesomeness. I know many of you in the future will, at many levels, not even be able to consciously understand what I'm saying, or will be emotionless because you've been given the vaccines to, quote, cure you from drug use that attacked the areas of your brain associated with endorphin absorption. And so many of you have been lobotomized, but you can pray to God and God can heal anything. I, I'm sorry that we didn't fight hard enough for you, and I'm sorry that we didn't do everything we could, but I want you to know I tried. And I prayed every day that God would make me stronger and make me not, uh, not be such a weak, pathetic blob. But uh, we were decadent. Our forefathers gave us such a great country and so much liberty that we became drunk on it. I know your future system is basically computer-operated and, 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 is, and is fire and forget. I know that it's all automated. But there's got to be a way out of it for humanity. There's got to be a way out of it. If you could even understand me, I know the language has been changed drastically. And I know access to what the language previously was has become restricted. But please, research. It was once better. It was once freer. If you're listening to me 20, 30 years in the future, and there's only a few hundred million of us left, just please fight against the New World Order. You'll find your enemies. You'll find the people that constructed this. You'll find them in their compact wilderness retreats. That's where you'll find your enemies. That's where you'll find the people that did this. In the future, they're going to become so arrogant, they're basically going to even forget about the people in their extermination centers. And there's got to be some way for people within the system who've got enough power, who are outside the automated grids, to be able to somehow resist this. Again, I know it's hard for you in the future to even understand me. By the way, folks, this isn't a 